What do I need? What do I need, internet? I need a shower! <laughs> I do, I feel kind of gross, actually. Welcome to r slash shower thoughts. We all have them. We're in the shower, thinking about our grand schemes. It's funny. Is the shower some sort of advanced thought pod? Because when I'm in the shower, I think of I think of so many ideas. I think of so many things. I I make up songs on the spot. Smash hits, platinum records for sure. And then as soon as I step my wet little ass out of the shower, poof. It's gone. I can't remember a thing that I was just thinking about in the shower. I think it, the government's probably behind it because the government has not figured out the te the technology behind the shower. And so that's the one place where our mind can be free and you can use 100% of your brain. But then once we get out of the shower, bam, they they signal their fucking birds that Ronald Reagan had uh, he killed all the birds and now they're all drones and they send their lasers into your brain because they can't penetrate the thick glass that's on the shower door slash vinyl from shower curtains. The lasers can't get through it. Um. <sighs> I hope quarantine ends soon. <laughs> Welcome to r slash shower thoughts, the place where all of the most wondrous thoughts about the shower go to the internet. We, uh, I just explained what shower thoughts are, so we don't need to talk about it again. Here we go. Whoever created the tradition of not being able to see the bride in the wedding dress beforehand saved countless husbands everywhere from hours of dress shopping and will forever be a hero to all men. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of true, yeah, yeah. Why, what is, what, hold on. It's bad luck for the groom to see the bride in her wedding dress before the ceremony. Its original purpose was also to keep the groom from finding out what the bride looked like until the last possible minute when it was too late to back out of the transaction. We laugh at dogs getting excited when they hear a bark on TV, but if the TV was a nonstop stream of unintelligible noises and then someone suddenly spoke to you in your language, you'd be pretty fucking startled too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, actually, that's true. Wow, wow. And it's also just like, you know, you know, Foley is just the recorded audio or whatever, a dog barking. They don't know what the dog's saying. The dog in movies could be saying, cause they're just using any old dog bark. The dog could be saying some really nasty stuff. And then your dog at home is just like, whoa, 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 whoa. You can't say that. That's why they get so upset. Because if the dog was just saying, hey, what's up? How's it going? I'm sure your dog at home would be like, yeah, whatever, it's fine. But the dog on TV might be saying some fucked up stuff, dude. When you're a kid, you don't realize you're also watching your mom and dad grow up. Dude, you're right. Oh, that's so weird to think about. Oh, that's so weird. I'm five years away from when Wow. My dad was 28 when I was born. I'm 23. I'm gonna be 24 in October. I'm almost four years away from the age my dad was when I was born. <laughs> I can't imagine having a child in four years or ever, to be honest. Kids suck. If elevators hadn't been in invented, all the CEOs and important people would have their offices on the first floor as a sign of status. Wow. That's something to think about. That's something to think about. Because, you know, it's just like, I got to walk less. Why have the, the, the big CEO walk all the way up to the top of the floor? I mean, this is probably obvious, but I, I just have never really thought about it before. You ever have those thoughts where you're just like, okay, this is obvious, but I've never really thought about it before. It's just something that I sort of accepted. During a nuclear explosion, there is a certain distance of the radius where all the frozen supermarket pieces are... <laughs> God damn, it's not... Not delivery, baby! It's nuclear pizza! Well, so here's the thing, though, about it. Is that if that were to happen, all of the plastic would be in the pizza. So you'd have to prep a little bit beforehand. If you see the bomb dropping, you gotta very quickly unwrap all the pizzas from the plastic and get the plastic out of there. And if there's any cardboard on the bottom, probably remove that too. Just put it out on a wire rack or something, just leave it out. And then you got yourself some fucking good za, dude. Uh, where's sunscreen, though? Because... They'll probably hurt. Anxiety is like when video make game combat music is playing, but you can't find any enemies. Yeah. Uh-huh. Most people know so little that if they were transported 200 years into the past, they wouldn't be able to invent anything any quicker. I wouldn't be able to. Somebody at Google was just like, yeah, just give someone drive down every road. 
fucking on earth. <laughs> I wish I could read. They did. That's gotta be boring. Just zigzag, 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 zigzag up every fucking road, dude. God, that sucks. How many fucking podcasts do you listen to? What do you do? That's, that's so much Joe Rogan in your ears. That's gotta be a boring job. Boring job, and they probably don't get paid a lot, even though Google has a poop ton of money, dude. College students don't want to go to graduation ceremonies, but they go to please their relatives, while relatives don't want to go, but to go support the students. We should all just be honest and skip the ceremony and go out for pizza. Hey, man. We got those nuclear pizzas. We put them all out. We put out like 40, 50 pizzas. We drop the bomb, and then it just whoosh, cooks them to perfection. You know, maybe we walk down the aisle real quick. We throw the thing in the air because that's all, that's all people are waiting for is the fucking, you turn the tassel and then you flip the, you throw the thing in the air and then you say fuck you to the fucking Dean or whoever it is. And then you go out for pizza. All the pizzas are lined up and then that's the day. Why do they gotta be four hours long? Apparently a lemon is not naturally occurring and is a hybrid developed by a crossbreeding bitter orange and a citron. Life never gave us lemons. We invented them all by ourselves. Dude, what do you do when it's just like, yo, life, I don't need you to give me lemons. I'll give myself lemons. I'll make my own lemonade, goddammit. This is why we're the most dangerous species on earth. This is why. Being 35 and not wanting to work in the field for which you've prepared is like being halfway through an RPG and realizing you've built out your skill tree all wrong and you can't respect and you can't make a new character and there will never be another video game again. Yuck. Oh, that's yucky feeling. Yucky feeling. This is why I encourage. Oh, and I don't, I don't technically agree with college stuff because it's very expensive and I don't think that it should be as expensive as it is, but whatever. I encourage people taking gap years um, or a couple years. Don't go directly from, from high school to college. You don't know what you want to do. The amount of people that know what they want to do right out of high school not even this big dude smaller than that just take a second take a breather find a hobby find something that you're actually interested in don't just be like oh yeah i guess i gotta go to college i'll go to business school i guess also if you want to save some money because school's fucking expensive go to a community college for the first two years or whatever get your core classes out of the way and then transfer why pay a billion dollars to go to the school of your dreams for the first two years when you're learning all the same shit that you would learn for a 15 dollars community college how much does community college cost i have no idea but it's cheaper than a university anyway those are the college tips from a kid who didn't go to college so trust me i know best it would be cool if after you died you could see the f top five times you almost died i i don't think anything happens when we die i think it's just like before we were born you know nothing but you have no sense of time because you're dead <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> but I wish that you just had all the access to everything. And it's like, you can see all the time you almost died. You could you could see like, hey, was the Loch Ness Monster real? If it was real, show me what it looked like. And it, it could be like, hey, show me the, to the top kisses that I ever had, dude. Yeah! Biggest poops you ever had? I wanna see that. <laughs> kind of makes sense that the target audience for the fidget spinners lost interest in them so quickly. <laughs> That's true, that's true, that's true. Avatar, the highest grossing film of all time, seems to have made zero impact on culture. Know what I want to do? I want to do an ADD video. 32 pack? Bruh, I'm just gonna buy now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wanna, I wanna butterfly knife trainer again. They're so much fun, oh my God. Why am I doing this? Why am I buying this shit? I'm literally trying to save up money for a house. I've been like, Ethan, you should make sure that you budget well and spend less on shit that you don't need because houses are expensive and everything is expensive about it. So save up as much money as you can because uh, over the next like three to five years, I would love to buy a house. And I just spent what? Close to $50 maybe on fucking dumbass toys. If we look back, Hub has been one of the most innovative video sharing websites. They had a permanent dark mode for years. They popularized the preview setting where you can watch the video without starting it. They're still one of the few to have like to, like to dislike percentage on display. Dog, they have had dark mode forever. Good job.
<laughs> in the anime, Ash Ketchum is supposed to be a huge Pokemon fan before he left on his journey, but every time he sees any kind of Pokemon, he has to pull out his Pokedex because he doesn't know what it is. Ash Ketchum, Ketchum was a poser before he left on his journey. Dude, he was. He didn't know shit. He didn't know fucking shit about Pokemon. Who let him be the main character? I wish Misty was the main character. Misty was sick. The syllables in on your mark, get set, go, or a countdown. It's three, two, one. On your mark, get set, go. Oh! <gasps> Dude, this subreddit is blowing my gourd right now. If Eminem's mom wanted to, she could probably make a good amount of money selling her own spaghetti sauce. Just call it mom spaghetti. Ah, shit! That's a great business model. Anyway, we've had some thoughts today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you <gasps> absorbed this knowledge. I'm being a lot today and I kind of love it. Leave me some comments of your shower thoughts. I want to hear your shower thoughts and then I'll make it into content. Everything is content. Nothing about my life is in content. Anyway, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to slap that like button right in the face. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Stay cranky. Bye. What is that, like, cranky?